Hi guys, it's a very beautiful day. And by the way, I am Charisse and De La Cruz, a laboratory high school student at Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. Guys, for today's vlog, we will gonna know what are the lessons I have learned in this subject math and what are the experiences that I had encountered while studying. I'm currently studying online classes and modular because of this pandemic. We students are not allowed to go outside just like the old times that we used to. It's hard because we are not used to this kind of situation, but we need to study for our future. With the help of our teachers, we are still learning despite of this pandemic. What are the essential experiences that I have learned in mathematics in this new normal? The essential experiences that I have learned in mathematics in this new normal is I learned how to manage my time. Before I attend online classes and answer all my modules, I will do all of my household chores first so that there is no distractions while I am studying. Lessons I have learned The lessons I have learned in math is First is patterns and sequence. Patterns refers to usual types of procedures or rules that can be followed. Patterns are useful to predict what came before or what, or what might come after a set of a numbers that arrange in particular order. This arrangement of numbers is called a sequence. For example, 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15 are numbers that form a pattern called a sequence. The numbers that are in the sequence are called terms. Now the arithmetic sequence and series. The difference of sequence and series are sequence is listed with commas like 3, 8, 13, 18, while the series are indicated sum like 3 plus 8 plus 3, 13 plus 18. Arithmetic sequence is defined as a sequence in which there is a common difference between consecutive terms. We can arithmetic in our daily lives in different ways. For example, in this quarantine, I'm always helping my mother to do some household chores. For example, I wash the dishes two times a day. So, the arithmetic sequence will look like this. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Now, the geometric sequence. A sequence made by multiplying by the same value each time. Example of geometric sequence. 25, 125, 625, 3,125, 15,625. The common ratio is 5. I also learned I also learned the addition of polynomials, the subtraction of polynomials, multiplications of polynomials, and the divisions of polynomials. Composition of function. In mathematics, function composition is an operation that takes two functions, f and g and produce a function h such that h times x equals g. In this operation, the function g is applied to the result of applying the function f to x. One common everyday life example is unit conversion. If I know how many miles and hour I have been walking, but I want to decide what my average speed is in feet per second, Generally, what ends up happening is I combine several functions to get my result. Now, the trigonometry. I also learned trigonometry because trigonometry, trigonometry is an area of mathematics that provides the properties of triangles. 
There are several special names to define the ratio. The cosine, sin, and tangent. These three also have reciprocals. This is the list of reciprocal. The most practical use of trigonometry is to solve triangles and also to find the height of towers, height of mountains, and so on. Now, the last lesson is permutations and co combinations. A combination is a mathematical technique that determines the number of possible arrangements in a collection of items where the order of the selection does not matter. So, always remember, in combinations, the selections or the order does not matter. While in permutations, the, in permutation, the order of the selected items is essential or the order is matter. So, always remember, in permutations, the order of the selected items is essential or the order is always matter. So, that's all. That's all the lessons that I have learned in math. Thank you guys for watching until the end. Bye!